Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I uh, had a little bit of time, uh, a couple of days off uh, from work, so I thought I'd uh, put together a couple of videos. Just wanted to kind of go over kind of a little project I've been thinking about uh, building for quite a while. My dog Sally is getting a little older and we take her everywhere, you know, to the park and uh, and uh, everywhere, pretty much, in and out of the car. And we, instead of just buying a regular like a dog ramp, I figured, um, why not build one? Maybe, I, uh, maybe it'll turn out a little better. Maybe not, we'll see. Welcome to my tiny shop. It's literally a one car garage um, for now. Eventually, when we buy a property, I'm gonna build a, a lot bigger of a shop, but it is what it is for now. I'm pretty cool to have it. All right, so I like to use reclaimed material whenever possible, not only just to save costs, if at all, and if anything, but uh, you know, it's just good to use reclaimed material whenever possible. So have this extra kind of uh, sandpapery uh, grit material. I thought I could incorporate into the project somehow. Um, I went to the local. Uh, reclaimed kind of architectural salvage uh, place here in Seattle. Thought uh, maybe we can make the ramp kind of a folding option. Handle. These are all new things. These are some options I was thinking about for traction. Um, I'm not entirely happy with how slick these are, especially if it's raining outside. Over here is actually what I plan on using. So it's a kind of a thick, squishy, rubbery material. Alright, over here is the lumber that I plan on using. This is all CVG fur, which means clear vertical grain. No knots. So I believe that makes it a little stronger. I don't know, correct me on that if I'm wrong. But either way, it looks really good and it's reclaimed. If you can't tell already, it's from a, um, some old school bleachers in one of the local schools here in Seattle. So, we'll see what I can uh, put together with this material. There's a few things that I really want to make sure uh, I get right on this project. Number one, it's got to be really strong, and that includes no or minimal bouncing. And the second thing is it can't collapse or anything, scare or hurt my dog. It's pretty important, obviously. So what I plan on doing is kind of using one of these as the main ramp. I'll cut it somewhere halfway, put some hinges on it so we can fold in. So you know this uh, lumber is originally from bleachers from a school because it's got the, uh, the telltale disgusting gum on the bottom. Alright, I got all that gum removed off of the back of the main plank. Next thing I'm going to do is start cutting this down to size. So, I don't know if you can see how it's curved on the edges. I plan on using some sort of stabilizer piece on the side, so for added strength. Rip this down and 
make that a 90 degree instead of the curved edge on both sides. Alright, now that I have the both the ends cut and squared off, it's time to rip it down. All right, so I got it ripped down. Now I just need to cut it to size. Look how tight that grain is. Beautiful. Okay, so I have the two pieces cut and basically, It'll look something like this. It'll uh, kind of like fold in half for uh, stowing it away when it's not in use. It's one thing I noticed with the plastic uh, ramps that you can just buy on Amazon and stuff and at the pet stores is they're maybe three, four hundred dollars sometimes and uh, they bounce around a lot and my dog did not like that and we ended up just giving it away. Alright, so I ripped down the side rails. These pieces right here have some of the same material, two inches. Um, this, is, this was my original plan, was to have the side rails like on top. But it's getting a little thin for a dog to walk on. And uh, Sally is pretty good size. She's about 95 pounds. So I'm thinking maybe I'll try it on the sides like that. So I have two different fastener options that I kind of thought of for this. Uh, the first one is this pocket screw kit. It's good for like hiding um, your screws and fasteners uh, in cabinetry, but I don't really care that much about the look of it. Um, so there's these, these are exterior rated two inch screws. That's gonna be plenty of strength with some wood glue. I think that'll do it.
All right, so I got both ends assembled. This kind of looks like that. So hopefully pretty strong. I don't think that's gonna bend at all or bounce around too much. So two identical versions of that. Once it's assembled, it will be able to fold like that with a handle of some sort and then stow it away in the car when you're not using it. I originally was planning on using all three of these uh, just for over engineering, just super strong, but uh, there's just not gonna be a room, so uh, I'll just use two of them. Should be plenty though. Door hinges designed to hold the solid core doors, so shouldn't be a problem for strength. And I bought these short uh, three quarter inch screws that hopefully will work for that. Give those a try. So I think I'm gonna make a couple of uh, adjustments here to the bottom of the ramp. So on the bottom where the ramp will meet the ground when it's in use, it's just touching with this little, it's just on this 90 here and I was hoping for more traction. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut that at uh, 45 and uh, maybe I'll add some of that um, sandpaper, the grit paper at the bottom there. So I got the hinges on um, and it's more or less what so far looking like what I wanted. I'll have a yep, just drop it. So just grab it real easily. Uh, yeah, it's a good start. All right, so it's basically assembled. Now I just need to start the sanding process. And for this, I'm gonna use a 220 orbital sander. And I'm probably just gonna rough this up, clean it up, and then uh, lay another uh, coat of urethane over the whole thing. I wanna be able to see all the old uh, you know, dings and nicks from uh, its lifespan. I bought this really cool rigid uh, orbital, random orbital sander a while back uh, just because I was working on a project that required it and I am so happy about this. I couldn't be happier. Next I'll wipe it down with cheesecloth and this will clean off all the extra sawdust.
All right, I'm back and looks like it is totally dry and it feels really smooth. Not bad for one coat. So here's the grippy foam that I'll be using on this part of the ramp. You just gotta cut it down to size. All right, so I was going to use this contact cement to apply the foam on the ramp, but apparently, uh, once I actually read the whole uh, directions, apparently it's not for foam. So save that for another project. And I'm gonna use some weedy sealant to apply it. So we'll see how that works. A weedy uh, sealant is part of uh, one of the components I use to install, uh, to prep showers for tile. And I'll go into that in another video, it's a whole subject, but it's a great product. It's very sticky and kind of rubberized. So we'll see how that goes. So next, I think I want to add some sort of uh, stabilizer here, something that kind of protrudes out past a couple inches. Just because the ramp is so thin, it's only about 10 inches wide, it'd be nice to have something to help it stay uh, stabilized when it's in the car or wherever we're using it. All right, so I'm going to take a look. Here, I have a few scraps that maybe we could use. This is the piece of oak from Ballard Reuse. It'd be nice to use something really strong and won't flex as much. So, let's use that. All right, so I ripped down that little piece of oak. So let's sand it up. Use um, 120 grit. All 
right, so I fastened the end of this uh, stabilizing beam, I guess, with these uh, GRK finish trim screws. So um, I use these quite a bit for miscellaneous projects. They're super strong. And also I use some wood glue as well. So the next step after that is I'm gonna use some of this uh, sandpaper and just kind of wrap these edges, maybe wrap the whole thing actually. That's the stabilizer. I'm pretty happy with it. Lots of traction on here. Alright, so it's all done and tomorrow is the big test. We will see if Sally actually uses it. Uh, down here I ended up just using a bungee cord. I'd say the whole thing weighs maybe somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds, so not too terrible. And I am really looking forward to giving it a try tomorrow. All right, so the inaugural uh, tr uh, trial run of the ramp. Let's give it a try. See how Sally likes it. She's like, wait a minute. Be careful. She's. I got not... her. I got her. Okay. Here. Sparrow, she's scared, sweetie. It's, it's too slippery. All right, it's just her first time. First time, good job. <laughs>